As a matter of fact, by midnight, I think it will be gone. 75 in Tampa to 73 in Newport Richie's, 73 in Brandon, Wesley Chapel and Winter Haven, 73 in Lakewood Ranch. So temperatures will be pretty much the same as they were the night before. So checking out your beach forecast, we have chances again for tomorrow for those showers and storms to form, mainly in the afternoon. Winds a little lighter, though. South and then westerly at 6 to 12 miles per hour, and the water temperature at 80. More details in your forecast and the check in place for 9. We'll be up in the next 10 minutes. That's good. You do see it's but as you okay. update this Saturday, welcome back. I'm Holly Gregory. Okay. A deadly accident on Interstate 4 in Polk County. A pedestrian was hit and killed at about 4.30 this morning near Highway 27. The eastbound lanes of I-4 were shut down for hours while deputies investigate. And the fences are going up today around the St. Petersburg Pier. The landmark officially closed for business last night. Fencing will keep folks away as it is torn down, which is scheduled, scheduled to happen in a few months. And in the meantime, voters will get a say. On the proposed replacement design, the lens, it'll be on the August primary ballot. Severe weather beyond the bay. More tornadoes slammed the Oklahoma City area last night, killing at least five people. Parts of Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana were also hit with bad storms that caused damage to homes and businesses and flooding. And it is officially storm season 2013. It is June 1st, and that means hurricane season starts now and runs until the end of November. Last year, the Bay Area saw damage from tropical storms Debbie and Isaac. And we've got you covered. Your forecast is every 10 minutes on Bay News 9. And online, you can find evacuation routes, yeah, safety yeah, checklists, and more at baynews9.com. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be what you want to hear at the start of hurricane season. Some federal weather watchers taking a mandatory vacation. It's part of the federal sequester furloughs. Employees at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, We'll start getting those furlough notices next week. We're told that that'll include some employees at the National Hurricane Center as well as the National Guard technicians in charge of maintaining disaster equipment. Florida Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz says she's working to stop it. As we head into hurricane season, U.S. Senator Bill Nelson is calling for upgrades to two supercomputers that forecast major weather events. Like I have One of those supercomputers is located in Orlando. This is a picture enough. of Gyre, as it's called. It so takes data from weather break. satellites, observation, and weather balloons. Now, Senator and Nelson says $25 million this out. will be spent to upgrade Gyre, as well as its supercomputer mm -hmm. partner mm -hmm. located in Virginia. Now, to give you just some idea of the power these computers already have, NOAA reports it would take one person with a calculator three million years to calculate you the number of calculations eye. Gyre can do in a single second. Oh, thank you. So with Look the weather it. predictor already that powerful, how do these two national supercomputers work when it comes to hurricane tracking? Let's pull in our expert, Josh Linker. That's so, more. Josh, this is just one tool that you can use to track hurricanes. How is it useful He's for done. You? Well, the fact that there is going to be a much higher resolution to the model... He's done. He has the diamond-shaped belly. About, uh, may not and seem he's like peeing on me. All right. That's nasty. Uh,